Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you two methods of adding light and shadow in Anime Studio Pro. Alright, so um, there are two methods that I use to uh, create shadows and light. Uh, the first one is that you actually, that I just draw it myself, and the second one is uh, it's a method where I use uh, certain effects in Anime Studio. So I start with start with the first one. <coughs> so what I want to do is I want to put some shadows on this on the head of this character and some light on the nose as well. So for that we are going into the layer and we are going right here into the head layer and you probably can't understand this unless you are Dutch. So, but anyway, this right here is the head layer, and we are going into that. So, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to double click on uh, the head layer, and we are going to masking, and we click on hide all. Uh, so, that way, um, <coughs> uh, this happens. And what happens is uh, you can see that on these layers uh, you see little circles and on this layer which is the head layer the one of this object right here you can see that this has a little plus on it so what this means is that this uh, layer is added to the mask and that means that everything that is in front of uh, the head layer like the ears or, or the eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth is visible and anything that is outside of the head layer like the ear and the nose becomes invisible uh, and that is what we want of course but first we have to make sure that we change this so we have to make the nose visible and we do that by making it clicking right here add to mask and click OK same thing goes for the air layer right here. There we go. So now that we've done that, uh, we are going to make a new layer right above the other layers. And we are calling it light. And yeah, shadow. So we are going to draw the shadows and the light. So, like I said, we are going to do that right here. So first we pick a color. Of course, for a shadow we need to color black. And I'm going to make it transparent. And you make it transparent by going to... Uh, s by select the fill color. And then you move this little thing right here. And then you can see right here it becomes transparent. And the lower you go, the more transparent it becomes. So I would say this is probably good. <coughs> Then we take the add point tool, and um, we don't need an auto stroke, so that's good, and we don't need sharp corners either. So we start to draw s some points right here. There we go. Like this, and from here, you can just do it like this. Alright, so this may seem a little bit weird, but if I make it, if I deselect it, you can see that only what's in front of the ears and the head is visible. So now it already looks a bit like a shadow. So of course we need to adjust a few things because it doesn't look very well right now. We just have to adjust it a little bit, adjust the points. There we go, like this. Curved to make this sharper. There we go. Already looks a little bit better. I will make it a little bit less trans of or a little bit more transparent, like this. There we go. So now it already looks better. So if you want to make it even uh, much, even a little bit more better, um, you can click on it, select it, and go to Soft Edge on Effects. And you change the blur radius to let's say 2 and there's not that much different but if you would go to preview you can see it has had 
a bit of a soft edge right here so that is one way to make it even a little bit better um, so that is how you create the shadows and we are going to do the same thing for the light uh, right here on the nose but uh, for this we make the color white and we just uh, I don't think we we don't even need it to be transparent we just can leave we can just leave it like it is and we take the add point tool and we just do the same thing again right here there we go a little bit light right here and then of course adjust it make the corner sharp right here and then I think this is good yeah so there we go now we have added light and shadow with the first method and so of course uh, yeah you can experiment with this and change the transparency change whatever change the form so yeah play around with that uh, then we have the second method and for that we are going to remove this uh, the second method uh, for that we are going to use the effect and for that we are going to the ear layer first for the shadow um, and what we do with the select shape tool we select the ear and we are going to effect and we click on shaded you can already see it right here and you can already see the kind of effect that we want to create so and if you move the light angle right here you can see it already becomes visible and you can adjust it however you want it to be so I would say a bit like this and I want the offset to change to 15 which uh, it makes it a little bit thinner I suppose and the blur radius uh, let's say we would make it to 5 let's see what happens it changes as well and then we take uh, the the color and the transparency and for that I want the transparency a little bit more kind of like this there we go click OK so now we have added uh, very quickly uh, shading on the ear we can do the same thing on the head as well but I'll leave it like it is for now and basically you can do the same thing with the nose um, and it's just the same thing you select it you go to effect shade it um, put it where you want it make it uh, change the offset like let's just say to 15 and the blur to 5 so oh, 5 so it becomes like this and of course you make it more white and then you can always adjust it however you want kind of like this would be good there we go so that's how you add uh, light and shadows uh, on a character or on anything else so those are the two methods that I use so uh, all of uh, both of them have benefits both of them have some issues so um, yeah uh, that's how you do it um, so I would say play around with it see which one is the best for you and anyway uh, if you have any more questions uh, leave a comment and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video if you like this video please subscribe for more I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday I also make my own animations I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well thanks for watching guys